back and then you Where's my bear? Guy? Guy? My bear? My bear? George? George, please stop playing with the bears. Hi. Okay. Okay. Go back to work. Okay. Nowadays, there's so many negative things. You open the, the television and there's some bad news. You open the newspaper and there's some bad news again. Let's see how some people see the good in the situations and how they're turning things around for the better. And so, let's hear our inspiring story for the week. Fister! <laughs> Faith makes a difference. A difference that made me alive until this very hour. About nine years ago, my mom and I were taken as hostages by two men who were at their early 20s. It all started after my mom and I bought hamburgers as pasalubong for my siblings. I got in the car first and my mom went to the other side of the car. When my mom was about to enter the car, one of these men pressed her against the car's door and poked a knife on her side. Another man came and helped the other push my mom inside beside me on the passenger seat. One guy took the driver's seat while the other sat at the back holding my mom at her head while poking a knife on her neck. Initially, he drove the car in a zigzag manner as he was trying to avoid the other vehicles and he drove it towards the Batasan complex. Along the way, my mom was trying to negotiate with them to let us go and if they would need the car, they could have it. I did not cry because I saw my mom calmly talking to them while a knife was poked on her neck. But when my mom was told to shut up or else they'll kill us, that was the time when my mom surrendered everything to God. My mom said, Lord, bahala na po kayo sa amin. At that time, we were at the inner lane of the road and the car was running smoothly but suddenly the car swerved to the right hit a small star and then hit a fence I saw my mom's little statue of Mama Mary fall on her lap the driver was still able to drive the car but after a few meters one of the tires of the car burst and the car was flat tired the two men then got off the car and took my mom's wallet my mom's faith, which was exemplified in this story, had greatly influenced my attitude towards life. She served as an example of hope and courage in times of trials and adversities. Her very short prayer, Bahala ka na Lord, had taught me that God answers prayers sincerely uttered, no matter how short it is. My story tells a lot about God's love, mercy, and guidance that is forever and unconditional, that even a simple but sincere prayer like Bahala ka na Lord could save lives. This experience no longer affects me that much because my parents try their best to, to replace these bad memories with love, laughter, and happy moments. But still, this experience no, remains clear in my mind, no longer as a traumatic experience, but as an inspiration of faith love and life. This faith experience will always make me thankful to God who is loving to us.